Oh, we're in the game. We're in the game. <laughs> Let's everybody, kick it off. Everybody just rejoined that lobby, and we were in the game the whole time. Okay. Well, interestingly enough, it looks like the hard point has already started, but it's Hacienda. We're going to jump into it straight away. And I believe something's going down. Something. Well, we can see gameplay. We can see it, and Got here it, it is. And we're going to get into it very, very shortly. Here it is, right on our screens. We're jumping into it. Hacienda, 97 to 17. This is what we're off. just talking about. This is what we're just talking about when we talked about Hacienda. Those first couple of hills can get out of hand very, very quickly. And right now, it looks like Mazer Gaming is in control. 112 to 17. A dominant, dominant start here, to say the least. Lil Cell's over here with a couple of streaks in his back pocket already, but this is what you were talking about, Joe. You know, when you can control a hard point, you can get that lead, and you can really start to bury the other, or the opposition, should I say, the Supreme Agility on your screen. Rocking that Maddox, double quick draw as well, will finally go down. Yeah, just taking a quick look at uh, the Black Ops team, see who's doing very, very well. Vivid, he's at plus 10, and, you know, he's working towards that war machine, and that's the big thing that we talked about. Look how many streaks as well. You already have six streaks to work with on the side of the Black Ops as they're up 120 points. So we've done one rotation. We're back to the middle here, and we are seeing a very, very dominant squad here put on. Two and a half minutes left on the clock. That shouldn't come in, but with 30 seconds still left up, Supreme Agility up and over the barrier. He's going to find himself a double, but taken down by Evasion there. And again, Joe, this is where I start to worry, not only about the score, but the amount of streaks uh, that Black Ops or Project 7 have now. Surely that's enough to bury this squad. Oh, it absolutely should be, especially on a map like Hacienda. I feel like there's some maps, you know, you talk about frequency where it, it's very difficult to land a couple of streaks, but Hacienda has some hills that are outside, should, should allow you to break. And then once again, this F7 project team, they're starting to set up for hill. They win the rotation. There's that lightning strike being called in. Supreme Agility, nice shots by him. He's starting to do a wonderful job. But let's switch on board with Hollow. At 20 and 11, he's starting to guard the back. Yeah, we're talking about those uh, abilities as well. You've got the Tempest ready to rock. Ruin and his Grav Slam alongside the Annihilator. So much firepower right now in this squad. And I, I tell you what, this is not a scoreline you like to see. 168 to 26, an absolute beating here coming from Atora and the boys. But are we going to see anything from this? We talked about comebacks. Maybe this is the time we see it. Yeah, you heard the Annihilator go off. After Vegas, they, there was a big patch where the Annihilator Seraph, you know, that was sped up a little bit, right? So it comes back into rotation where they make sure that those players become such a powerful weapon where you'll get it every single game. So the Annihilator now in sort of the meta for specialist usage. And, and I think as well, you know, it's what type of player are you? You know, if you have that lightning fast reactions, that snapshot, the Annihilator may be for you, but you know, if you have something like the Grab Slam where it's not about accuracy, it's about timing or speed, it's, uh, it's definitely where you have to really work with your teammates. However, talking to specialists, here's the Tempest. He's gonna tag one there for a second, but three do go down. A couple of points on the board for the Merc squad. Yeah, you go. Dylan Rex, he's able to, to pull out this Annihilator. And again, a, a lot of these games are, are doable to come back into, but when you have so many streaks on the side of F7 Project, it's already back into it, is able to find one. You see the Tempest popped as well. We'll see what they get, but that's two big specialists now. Taken away from Mazer Gaming. We'll see what they could do. Can they get back into this game? Because it looks like a Turing crew are starting to fight their way. I'm back with 15 seconds left in this hill. They're trying to get to contest, but it looks like it will go the way towards Mercs. Got a Sorg action there coming in for a Tori. You're going to see, obviously, these three primary weapons used throughout. Obviously, the Maddox, the Sorg, that close up range weapon, and of course, the ICR. Sometimes you are going to see different maps, of course, but Maddox seems to be the primary fighter right now. Vivid, of course, coming out with the War Machine. 193, trying to break that 200 mark. They do have the drone squad available as well. I want to say that six, man, but it's six or seven up in the sky, and that kill feed is all blue. This squad is dominating. Yeah, they absolutely are. Again, just so many streaks. They still have a couple left as well. Evasion with this ICR, just trying to lock down as many angles as he can, but News with a couple of kills, trying to fight his way back in, and just as I say that again, we talked about those score streaks. Yes, he blew himself up, but he was able to find a couple of the enemies as well. Now just 35 seconds away from taking this map number one. Evasion, try, or sorry, Destiny trying to get back into this game. They are able to hit maybe these last 15 seconds, but Hollow and crew starting to try to contest. And this is how you want to start a series off, you know, in a dominating fashion, go into that search and destroy with all that confidence as well. Of course, 
for the Merc squad. Supreme agility and the boys will have to bounce back very, very quickly after this one. We see Hollow on the outskirts there. The crash does come in, but it's not enough to save his life. Four players will remain as the Tora does go down. But again, we get into that point where it's just out of reach, almost 23 points away as these guys climb. This could be a 100 point club. Yeah, with 23 seconds left, we'll see. Obviously, this middle hill, when you go back towards Fountain, it's very tough to get some time. You have to try to control these top hills. It looks like they've done so. Is Dylan Rice locking down that stone statue side? Now he's going to start to work towards that middle doorway. Nice shots with that Maddox, but he knows it's desperation time. He has to give up that power position, go right back into the hill. And again, I think the big thing to watch as well is just that game clock. Even if they do fight back into this game, there's only a minute 20 left. Like, that is really what you're up against, not just the score of the opponent, but how much time is left in the game. It certainly is, and with 15 seconds is where the rotation comes down. We are going to see everyone start to pile into this garage right now. Supreme agility, going to have to reload that. 40 bullets left, and he's going to see a weak Vivid, and he's going to take full advantage. Three kills back to back for the squad, but is it going to be enough? They need pretty much the perfect game from here on out. They have a great setup, but it's just a long way to go, 150 points. However, Ooh. it could start now, but the lightning strike of Cells coming in now will destroy that. Destiny falls over, and we are going to see now potentially the retake, potentially the end. Yeah, I love this play by Cells. He calls in the lightning strike, and there we go. Lines him up with the ICR. Little Cell is going off right now on a 6 free 3 with that lightning strike. And then his team floods the front. He just goes through the back. And of course, the other team, they have to flood the hill because, well, guess what? They're one second away from losing, and there we go. They're able to lock that one down with a beautiful play out of Little Cells at the end.